Hello everyone, my name is Jordan with the McWayne Science Center, and welcome to today's SciSpark. Today, we're going to be trying to answer the question, what happens when we try to set a pile of dust on fire? Let's find out. Before we get into today's SciSpark, I just want to remind you all, I am a trained professional. Playing with fire is extremely dangerous, so please, do not try this at home. Take a look inside of my little metal cup here. Inside of this cup, we have a powdery substance called lycopodium powder. Lycopodium powder consists of the dried up spores of the club moss plant. In its current form, it's relatively harmless. However, if we were to take a little bit of it and disperse it throughout the air near an open heat source, we get a combustion reaction. What you just saw there was a dust explosion. Dust explosions occur when we have a high concentration of combustible material suspended throughout the air. All we need is a small heat source to produce a series of combustion reactions that can create a powerful explosion. Lycopodium powder has been used for years in a variety of ways. It has often been used for theatrics and cinema to create easy to control explosions and special effects. It has even been used in early combustion engine designs and photography. Nowadays, it is most commonly used as an educational tool to teach about dust explosions and combustion reactions. Historically and currently, lycopodium powder has been used for entertainment purposes. With that being said, let's end this episode with a bang. In three, two, one. Thank you for watching today's episode of SciSparks. To catch new episodes as soon as they're released, be sure to subscribe to the McWayne Science Center's YouTube page, or visit us at mcwayne.org. Until next time. In three, two, one. One. Ah! Blooper reel.